I'm in a position now where I feel like I'm done. I'm done with, I'm, I'm really done with online dating. I refuse to settle for a man who cannot financially take care of himself. I don't need you to take care of me, just yourself. I'm not gonna settle for an old man who um, has to take naps two and three times a day. <laughs> Look, dude, if you gotta take a nap, we're, we're probably not gonna work out. Now, I get it. If you're 70, I get it. If you're like 65, I get you might being might be being sleepy enough to have to take a nap. But if you woke up at seven o'clock on a Sunday and I'm talking to you at nine and you're telling me that you need to go take a nap, I'm gonna need you to lay off the marijuana. Yeah, that happened too. Like one guy I went out with and I think he thought he was the prize. Um, I get over to his house and he proceeds to inform me that he might have a roach or two crawling around. Look, bro, dating is not what you should be doing. You should be spending the money that you would use to take me to a restaurant and you should be calling an exterminator. If you have roaches or rats or any type of little critters running around, why are you inviting women to your place? Like, why? I, I, I'm just failing to understand how a grown 69 year old man is okay with living with roaches and possibly rats i don't know he had a cat door and the cat used to run outside the cat door and come back in with little gifts like you know dead rats so yeah i just don't think that's conducive to a dating environment right okay maybe i'm wrong maybe i'm wrong um and then um, he never really, like he was taking me out and um, let me just get to the punchline on this one. 65 years old, you were married once in 1980 something and your last girlfriend, you said to me, you think she was stalking you, right? And we are trying to get you know, we're sitting in a restaurant, getting very comfortable with, with each other. It's my birthday. And you reach over and give me a kiss. And you grab my hand and you put it on your man parts. And you tell me how um, excited you are to be in my presence, um, to be spending time with me. But what I feel is a two inch penis, okay? <sighs> hmm. This is not just a white man problem. It's not, you know, I mean, there have been all colors and all races. And I'll just be honest with you. I will, if a man is kissing me or rubbing up on me or whatever, I will reach down and touch your junk. If you, especially if you're making comments about how excited you are. But I'm gonna give you a little unsolicited, unsolicited advice, okay? If you have a two inch penis, you might not wanna refer to your two inch penis as a cock you might not want to take nude shots of your shriveled up two inch penis and send that to a woman unsolicited. Um, it's not sexy, it's not, you know, um, it's just not sexy. I'm sorry, two inch penis is not a cock. Two inches does not a cock make.